Hello everyone, so welcome all to another video of our strength series and in this video we are going to look at a very basic problem called palindrome strength which is uh, I guess you have or maybe you have saw it back in school if you have taken computer science, right? So okay, let's talk about what is a palindrome basically. Okay. See if I say if I yeah, if I write a, B, C, D, O. So if I read the string, read it from here. If I read the string from here, I'm going to have the same output A, B, C, D, A, A, B, C, D, A. Correct. So yeah, uh, that is it. So this is basically what a palindrome is. That if I read the string either from left or either from right, I should have the same output. Okay. Now the question is that we are given a string here, so we have to check if it is a palindrome or not. Okay. So first of all, let's uh, talk about a what we say. Nice solution. All right. So suppose we have a string here. Alright, which is equal to string S. Yes. And what I did here is I just reversed the string. And how do we reverse that? So do we write the, we use the SGL functionality reverse and reverse the whole string. Alright. And now we simply return. do yes we have a yes is equal to let's try compile this code let's see if it works yes your output is correct so I'm not going to submit it because I know it is not going to work because see auxiliary space is four of them so what is happening here is uh, we are using a string here we are using one more string to store the reverse of s so here we are going to have uh, space complexity as of length of s that is not the required space complexity here and right, so that's why we are not going to save it so this is a very nice solution and uh, can you think of how to you know uh, optimize it okay. uh, let's do the right group yep. so this one this part and I know this part and uh, yeah suppose I have a pointer begin here and if I have a pointer here and if I move it from here, and if I move it from here, and if I check every character, if they are same or not, suppose we check the first character from here, we check the first character from here. We both are same, we move uh, this here, we move this here, and we check the next characters. These are also same, so we check them also. Uh, where we arrive here, and we check, and yeah, we will get a output as two. Okay, so what would be the ending condition of the loop? Then this iterator, let's call it begin. And this iterator, let's call it end. When begin becomes greater than or equal to end, I can say that I have reached the other side and uh, the string is palindrome. Otherwise, it is not. Okay. Okay. Now let's try and run this thing. Let's have the begin as 0 and let's have the end as the spot length minus 1. Alright. Now say while begin is you know less than end. What I'm going to do here? So I say that this string begin. So you know it's not equal to string 
Okay. Return zero here. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is simply to increment and increment our operators. And we simply return here. Let's run this code. Here we are getting the expected output. Let's run this code and see if it works. So, okay, very really nice, it works. So, this is a very basic problem of a palindrome string which we did. And I hope you understood what is a palindrome and how to solve it efficiently and well. Solution, alright. So, I guess that's it for this video. And we'll see more in the future videos. And thank you for watching.